Hello and welcome back to Alti TV's coverage of EUCF 2022. My name's Luke Burgess, joined by Sean Colfer. Uh, is this the first time we've been on commentary together? I think it is. I think it is, yeah. I don't recall doing it, uh, commentating with you before. Well, we're hoping for a fantastic game here in the women's division. We've got Synthesis in white from the UK versus Disco Bolo from Bologna in Italy. In this group stage matchup, you're on a very still Friday morning in Carole, Italy. And as expected, Disco Bolo come straight down with the zone. Yeah, we talked to their co coaches beforehand and they said that having watched a bit of synthesis yesterday, they thought the zone would work well. So not surprising, as you say, to see it this early in the game. So synthesis, bit of a pickup team from the UK, an amalgamation of um, Six, Spice and Scram. Sick being from London, Spice being from kind of the Midlands, with a few players dotted around the UK, and Scram being from Scotland. Only one fit Scram player available for this game. As Disco Polo get their first break opportunity of the game. The zone doing some work for them early on. Deep shot. Pressure underneath it. And Synthesis do come down with the disc. Looks like Disco Bolo opting to go for match defense after the turn. Not setting the zone up again. Deep shot from Synthesis. Comfortably collected in the end zone, and they do hold their offense and bring us to 1-0. Yeah, that was a nice play against the zone. They were quite calm until there was just one throw a little bit behind Tessa Jalink. Couldn't quite reel it in. Uh, but once they get that turn again, Hannah Yorwood getting that block deep. She gets the disc, reads it nicely on that huck, and sends it deep for a good hold. Hopefully they can maintain that composure and Disco Bolo. You can see they were trying to, they got, got into the middle of the field, but there was not a great deal happening, and I think it was uh, Bolognese looking for the for the deep shot immediately, and it just wasn't quite on, I think. But a good start for both teams. I think that, that zone was uh, clearly making senses take a lot of passes. That's what Disco yeah. Bolo are going to want to force them to do. Yeah, it, it was causing them some problems. Yeah, it was. They were having to having to move it very small spaces. They were, they were going on the field a little bit at a time. And when you're playing a zone, you're not really trying to force turns, are you? No, it's, it's more about letting the offense build pressure against themselves by throwing the disc more than they would like to. <laughs> so we, we know that Synthesis don't normally play together, but we've heard that their, their chemistry has improved since the start of the tournament. They had a very ropey first game, but had a much better showing in their second game coming together a bit more as a team against uh, Seagulls. Quality side from Hamburg. Deep shot now from Disco Bolo. Ooh, good block in the end zone from Synthesis. Yeah, that was really good. Great read. Just came underneath there and got a hand on it. It's an excellent block there by Ellie Payne, I think. Is it just one Payne who's here? Because if it's both are here, I can't tell the difference. But I think that was Ellie. She's the only one I've seen on the roster. So it's this with the disc now. Their first break opportunity of the game. It's squandered as Disco Bolo get the disc back after that errant pass. A little bit frantic there, wasn't it? There was just quite a lot of movement, not a great deal of things. Easy easy movement right in the middle, in front of the disc. So just go Bolo, get off the sideline. Look to work it down the field. Diving catch, saves possession. So they continue to work it around the back. Not much movement downfield. They do find something. Inching closer to the end zone. It's 
still counts rising. But there is a wide open reset. And the shot into the end zone is good. Disco Bolo managed to hold their offense. They do. It looked a little looked a little tight. There was a lot of high stall counts there, wasn't there? I think you can tell already we had a D point in the previous one and an O point on this one. And number 10, Capello, and number 31, Bolognese, both on the, both those points, both touching the disc a lot when they've had the opportunity. Clearly, they're going to run through those t two players a lot. I think Synthesis' D was good there, forcing a lot of high stalls. Clearly, they're marking people downfield well because the stalls were getting so high. You can see the people waving their arms on the sideline because of the sheer amount of flies, but that is a, a nice throw into a very small space that was that was pretty well uh, defended by Beth Jeffrey there. Yeah, close one. But Disco Bolo maintain their composure through the pressure. Have you seen more flies in one place in any location in your entire life, Luke? No. Not even close. It's quite something, isn't it? It's it needs to be seen to be believed, yeah. I think. It's like running through a cloud. I feel like we're going to be picking flies off of our kit, like sand out of our shoes after being on the beach or something. <laughs> I think you're right. So, unfortunate turnover for since this. Just a low throw. Gifts, gifts Disco Bolo a short field. Shot to the end zone. And a clean score. Federica with the goal. Yeah, two in a row for Federica. Got the O hold, and then you could see she kind of comes under and cuts away immediately and points at the end zone. She could see that, I think it was uh, LaRocque was just guarding me underneath. You can see here, LaRocque was guarding me underneath when it, the disc starts moving. And she knows she has that space deep. Points, asks for it, disc goes up, and a break early on for Disco Bolo. As you say, or as you said earlier, Luke, that was just uh, an unfortunate, unforced turnover uh, off the pull. But synthesis one that I'm sure they'll be cutting out as this game goes on. Like you said, they're still improving their chemistry. There's quite, I think, quite a few spice and sick players, as you said. Uh, only one scram player playing. It's interesting seeing two teams that have played against each other a number of times. Spice and sick. Uh, a lot of, uh, kind of friendliness between those two teams. Uh, Rupal Galani, the captain of sick, played with a lot of the spice players on the under-24 team in 2019. Yeah. So those teams are scrimmaged against each other a lot. They've played against each other a lot. They know each other very well. So it's interesting seeing them all playing together. Turn the fence. Yeah, yeah. The fence. good. I mean, if it's going to go wide, <laughs> why not go all the way? Absolutely. Go big or go home. And in this yeah. case, going big is throwing they're it they're into, a into a ditch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Georgie Hill with the disc for synthesis. As they work it around the back. Fibitio. Hill. That was a nice catch. Back to Tio. With the, the needle thread attempt. Not quite there. Disco Bolo clamped down on the disc. And get the turnover. Brief hesitation before picking up the disc to swat a fly out of her eye. <laughs> understandable. Def very understandable. So let's see what Disco Bolo can do. This break opportunity. Close the attempt. But Disco Bolo maintain possession. Trying to direct traffic downfield, but has to just go wide. And almost a point block from Christy Toe, but Disco Bolo somehow find the gap and get the score on the far side. Yeah, that's really unlucky for Toe. Got a really good hand on that. You can see the disc wobble, but it just goes straight into, straight into the receiver's hands. And the, the turnover early, you can see what Tio's trying to do, I think. There's, a, there's definitely a shot there, but there's a lot of arms in the way. I'm not sure Hill really expected it to come through there and uh, just took yeah. a rifle a little bit. It's one of those that if you fake it, the defense bites and then you get something else. But Absolutely. Easy to say in hindsight. Well, Disco Bolo said that they're, they thought their zone was good. They thought they could get some turns from it and they thought it would work against Synthesis having watched them yesterday and so far we're seeing Synthesis you know, they have 
nine, ten good throws against it, and then one not quite there. And I suppose yeah. that is exactly what Disco Bello were looking for. Yeah, they had nine, ten throws, but at no point did it look like they were going to break through the zone. They no. were just working no. around the back, keeping it moving. And perhaps if that throw to, to Hill was complete, that would have been it. That would have been the break through the cup they needed. But alas, Discavolo get the block, get the break. And since this find themselves down 3-1. Capello and Bolognese both on again. And Gibson with the disc of synthesis, facing his own once again. Goes wide and then down the far sideline. And now we find synthesis with some space in front of the cup. That throw from Gibson just a bit too high. There will be some discussion, but. That is exactly what you're talking about, Luke. They got through the cup a little bit. Gibson had some space to work with. They were off and running. That shot to LaRocque was definitely there. Plenty of space for it. It looks like LaRocque is saying there was some contact into the back, which meant she couldn't adjust and try and bring it in. You can see there, I think, the Disco Bella player certainly has her arm out after it goes over both of them. Yeah, there's definitely some contact, but whether or not it affected the play it's been remains to be seen. And they place the that it is. So, a bit of a lucky break for Synthesis there, I think. Looks like probably going to match here for Disco Bolo. Yeah. So, Synthesis on the doorstep. There's nothing in the end zone available, but do find something on the front line. Good save from Gibson to rescue possession. So they jump and swing. There's the shot into the end zone, but it is blocked. Good end zone defense from Disco Bolo. And they get the disc for the first time at this point. Nice high lead pass. And the power position turns into a deep shot. It's going to be pressure underneath it. And synthesis. Get the block. Tessa J-Link. Yeah, it's a nice read from Tessa J-Link. I think the shot to Federica, you can clearly see that they like Federica going deep. They like her in that deep space. She's already got two scores. That would have been a third. She's the chase in their zone as well, so it's <laughs> he's running a lot. Very impressive stuff. She's putting the yards in. So zone once again. Gibson somehow makes the grab, despite the contact. Looks like everyone's okay. I don't think that was the best of bids, but it looks like everyone is okay. So good news that we can just continue on after a very short break. Yeah. Immediate deep shot from Gibson. Is reeled in, and there's the one to the end zone. It's a bit far though, layout required, and it is good. Comes down with the disc. <laughs> that was fantastic. What a catch. I, I was getting ready to say that I think Bailey threw that too early. She knows wow. her receiver a lot better than I do, clearly. That was yeah. absolutely excellent. Incredible. Payne has kept running all the way through that. This is a great throw from Gibson. Spotting Bailey in loads of space. Putting just enough on his get it over the deep. And yeah, she throws it immediately in the very flat. And I thought that was going to be a turnover. And Payne runs it down. Payne had other ideas. Oh, what a catch that is. That is absolutely phenomenal. Wow. It's just what we want to see on oh, the I look forward to more of that. That was, that was great stuff. Slightly Very spicy good. offense, yeah. punctuated by an incredible layout. You love to see it. Uh, the coach was telling us that some of these players are a bit nervous about being on stream for the first time. Somehow being on stream for the first time, despite the fact Six Gram and uh, Spice have been regular features on Ulti TV this season. Some of their players managed to avoid the stream games up until now, but it doesn't look like there's any nerves at all with plays like that. So just go Bolo, working just down the field. Big high deep shot to the end zone. Several players underneath it. But it's Disco Bolo down with the disc. Talk about spice from, uh, from synthesis. That was an extremely spicy throw to the end zone. A lot of blade 
very high, but another one where you just trust your receiver. She had the height advantage there and read it very well to take it down. But that's two points in a row where the throws have been, I don't want to say ill-advised because they've both come off, but they've certainly been, uh, they've certainly been... Lower percentage than... Expansive? Yeah. Look at that, a lot of blade on that. Really good read there. And good high pointing as well. After whoever found the... Dug the disc out of the bushes on the far side of the fence. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Intrepid. Has been collected. Good stuff. It's been an interesting game so far. Both these teams finishing third in their pool, so this is a, a crossover. Uh, they can still qualify for the pre-quarters. The, best, the four best third place teams qualify for pre-quarters. It's determined on points difference. And Disco Bolo had two pretty close games, so they look well set for a shot in the top 16. Uh, synthesis, it kind of depends how everyone else does, I think. Yeah, they didn't have the best first game, so some work to be done here. Your list finds Gibson. That initial break through the cup wasn't converted into a goal, so the zone is back set. Now they're working through it nicely. Shot to the end zone was a little bit too far. Floated a bit too much. The Disco Bolo goes straight the other way. No waiting around. Short field. No teammates nearby. No timeout call though. You'd love to see it. Just keep playing. Now Disco Bolo are in their end zone. Offense, but you're Plucks the disc down. Gibson goes deep immediately. Bit of an overthrow on that occasion, though. Yeah, I think a little bit of rush of blood to the head on both occasions. Both occasions she had people going deep. On this occasion, I think both occasions, I think it was Jalink had space. Yeah. Uh, just a little too far both times. You can see synthesis. There's there's definitely something there offensively, particularly with the the spice players on this point. You're with and Gibson working between themselves. There's definitely something there. You can see these players are working it out on the fly and getting some nice offense going. It's just that final throw, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit bit of missed execution. And timeout will be called as Disco Bolo feel like they're a bit disjointed. Want to give themselves some time to reset. And as the players take a break, so are we. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We are Hive Ultimate, a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate Strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting edge strategies and to see analysis of world-class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. for my voice on this stream. I said we'd be right back. We, we were actually here the whole time. We never left. We're never leaving. <laughs> they're going to need a wrecking ball to take us. No, no, no they're not going to need a wrecking <laughs> ball. We'll leave very, very voluntary. <laughs> or very, very voluntarily, I should say. Interesting game so far. The, the sure. Disco Bolo zone is certainly causing census issues. But well, they, they keep breaking it. through it mm. and then not converting the numbers advantage downfield. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty aggressive cup zone. So as soon as you get past that, that first line of defense, as long as you didn't commit more than three players into the backfield, you've, you've got a numbers advantage in the rest of the pitch. But if your players aren't spaced correctly, aren't able to receive those immediate continuation passes, the, the, the zone can reset, can recover. and. That's pretty much what's been happening. We'll see like shots over the top of the zone from Gibson. And someone in space, but then not finding anyone else. It almost so. feels like once they break through that zone, which they're doing with decent Somewhat success. Somewhat regularly, yeah. Once they break through it, they kind of get that, okay, we're through it, now we've got to make something happen. And it's that pass yeah. after breaking through it that's letting them down slightly. Yeah, they've been giving themselves either passes or passes that are too difficult on, on most occasions. So... We've seen a few overthrows. 
Right. Disco Bolo on offense. Going for a host stack with some poachers off of it, and the poach is immediately punished by a good throw to space on that far side. But since this recover, get the defense set. Deep shot to the end zone. Nicely done. Well weighted pass into space. Disco Bolo go up 5 2. There she is again, Federica, chasing the zone, deep threat. If if I was doing this, I'd be dead after about 10 points. So uh, I look forward to seeing her, seeing how she's able to continue the rest of the game. It's incredibly the amount of running she's been doing. But like you said, Luke, the straight off the timeout, there was a really good throw just over the top of the poaching. And they were off and running from there. And it's kind of difficult to slow them down. But uh, impressive throw straight off a static disc there. A nice bladey flick for the score. Yeah, I don't really mind that, that initial poach off of the Hoka stack because you're somewhat hitting exactly the throw that they threw, but it's not, not the easiest option in the world, and there's a good chance that the rest of your defense are set even if they do complete that throw. It's on the sideline. They're not in a, necessarily in a power position unless the throw is really good. But even though they managed to close up on defense after that throw since it's never really got any close bids on the disc. No. No, it was well worked by Disco Bird after getting over the top of it. Yeah, good offense. So zone once again for Disco Bird, as we've come to expect. Fee rate. Swinging the disc to the far side. Nice break throw into the middle. To keep the disc moving. Throw over the top is read by the defense. They get there first and Disco Bolo with a short field to work with. Looking for options in the end zone. Can't find anything. Has to give this good movement in the backfield but he's yet to turn into a threatening look into the end zone. Still count was rising. They do find an option. Getting closer and closer. Still swinging it around the back. There's the shot to the end zone. Plenty of space. And good end zone offense from Disco Bolo will get their sixth point of the game. They're very patient. And then finally, when they get some space, you can see that all the players are kind of isolated on the, on the right-hand side of the field as we look at it. Leaves that break side wide open. And it's a really excellent throw from Polynesia, I believe it was, uh, just opening up the field there. But you can see this, this throw against the zone. When you're throwing kind of low rolling things like that that's the, against a zone things like hammers and blades are quick and they come down very sharply it's tougher to read as a defender but yeah. throws like that that defender the wings are pinching in for Disco Bolo quite a bit and as soon as that throw leaves the hands you can see it breaking on it immediately it, it, the throw was telegraphed a little bit as well so giving the defense even more time to read the play yeah, you've got, really got to fire that in there or it becomes a, a, a decently easy read for the defense, especially, as I say, when the, the wings are pinching in so much. But it's good offense from Disco Bolo once they get the disc back. They're being very clinical here. For sure, for sure. They they look like the the more well-drilled team, which is to be expected. Certainly given the uh, amalgamation of clubs that have come together to form synthesis. Yeah, we can see from there... Jerseys? Do we call them jerseys? They're basically T-shirts. Yeah. They? <laughs> Spray-painted T-shirts. Cotton T-shirts with spray paint. You can see that they are, uh, they are pretty good, but they are. Um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Temporary? Temporary, perhaps? A rush job, but yeah, they, they, they don't look like the most durable no. <laughs> sports gear. Wouldn't want to be wearing that in the rain, which we are expecting later. Yeah. I will say the numbers are very clear, which puts them well above some of the other kit at this. It's tournament. unfortunate that. The numbers on the roster aren't as <laughs> clear as on the jerseys. There's a bunch of zeros. Fortunately, I think I know all of the players who are zero on our roster sheet. So they've gotten away with it on this occasion. We'll let them off this time. Yeah. The fact that they've even managed to submit a roster at all is, to be honest, impressive. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's been, we can't be too harsh on them. It's been interesting seeing the mix of players they're putting on each line. Like the last line was quite a sick heavy line. They've put on some quite um, quite spice heavy lines. This one's much more of a mix. It's just interesting seeing what players they're kind of pairing together, what groups they're looking to yeah. get on there. I was wondering if they would just do like 
one sick line, one spice line, and then just mm. rotate between the two. Not necessarily O and D, just try to keep the chemistry as high as possible. But I guess if you've come all this way to play with these teams, why not? Why not play with some new players? Yeah, I think it's they're trying fun. out people in new positions as well. People handling who are not necessarily handlers because why not? Why not give it a try here? But Disco Bolo, in, on the other hand, have got four or five players that are playing quite a lot of points and they're fitting people around them. You can see the cohesion is really, really good, and those key players are playing really well. Some nice dribbling through the zone from Synthesis, completely breaking apart the Disco Bolo defense. And there's the pop into the end zone. Nicely done from Synthesis. That's much better. It's much more like the zone offense that we've come to expect from players of this caliber. That's pretty much perfect zone offense, isn't it? You get into space with two players nice and close to each other and just work it all the way up. And then even when you get to the end there, because of the spacing in the end zone, they had someone wide open for a corner. They could have yeah. even led Hannah Yor with in there, but she caught it and the person threw it was able to go back and get it anyway. So a uh, really nice zone offense there. Lovely. Good spacing from the, the downfield synthesis players to just always give some options. And it's that IO break, isn't it, from Hannah Yor totally opens up the field. Really good throw. So that's a, a needed point, I think, for Synthesis. 6-3 now for them to try and come back into this game. And they are pulling, let's see, Disco Bolo's offense. Bolognese back on the disc again. We've seen a lot of them. Immediate deep shot. Does find the receiver in space. What a throw that was. They can't quite convert it into the, the goal immediately. They have to go back. But the immediate dump pass into the shot to the end zone is blocked by Synthesis. Federica back there again trying to get another one. Add to her ever-growing stats resume. It was an unfortunate one for Ellie Payne there. She got a really good hand on that long one. Just was unable to stop yeah. Capello reeling it in. It's just a little bit too high. An immediate deep shot from Synthesis. Too far. It looked too far from Fisk coming out of the hand, but with Payne running it down and the fact that she reeled in that Who monstrous knows? one earlier, yeah. you can't really rule her out. Uh, it turns out you can overthrow Ellie Payne. You can overthrow Ellie Payne. We had some doubts earlier that it wasn't possible. Absolutely. It wasn't until she stopped running that I stopped believing it would happen. So, high throw over the top to this near side. A good downfield defense from Synthesis. Showing down the options. Pick cold, though. Or a foul, perhaps. Oh, it's a foul. Yeah, push or foul seems to be the call. Uncontested. So nothing opening up downfield for Disco Bolo just yet. We do find something in the middle. And that throw is too high, but not too low for the layout. <laughs> Great second effort attempt. I think there's the call that was probably just retracted. We'll get back underway. Nice breakthrough. On this near side for Synthesis for Disco Bolo, and the shot to the end zone is good. They find the immediate break side continuation. Guess who? Guess who scored? Federica again. But I think star at that point was a drink I don't like, Negroni, mm. with uh, another phenomenal layout. The, the bids we are seeing in this game have been excellent. It looked like that throw was too big, gone over her head, but she's able to reel it in beautifully. We see here Ellie Payne getting a big hand on that. You can see the disc wobbling, but good concentration all the way through by Capello. But like you said at the time, Luke, just not quite able to get that quick continuation in there. And that throw is just a little bit too speculative, isn't it? It's just too high. I think there was space. But it needed to be much more bladey. I think as we were, we're looking at it from that, that catch angle, was out of bounds, by the way. Yeah, we're looking at the angle. I think even if she would have caught that, yeah. Capello would have been out. That's a fantastic yeah. catch. Great concentration. 
Love this break throw. Yeah, really nice. Opens up the break side. That's a good one as well. It's yeah. just nice play down the break side. Fibicio not quite able to get there. So deep shot from Disco Bolo straight away and what a grab in the end zone. Goes up confidently with the right hand and brings it down for the score. What a way to take half. Very, very clinical. Again, we've said that before about Disco Bolo, but it seems like when they get opportunities, they just convert them. They're very, very ruthless in the way that they take advantage of the synthesis mistakes. Yeah, impressive stuff from the Italians. And as that is half time, we will take a quick break. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Welcome back to the second half of this women's crossover match here at UCF 2022. You are locked into Ultra TV's coverage. All I want is a Prosecco. <laughs> After that, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> right, I've got lemonade. It'll do. So Disco Bolo up 8-3 over Synthesis. Confident showing from the Italians so far in this game. Synthesis have looked good, but they just don't have that chemistry that we, we're seeing from Disco Bolo. And that's really been the, the difference between these two, these two teams so far in this game. Yeah, agreed. So Synthesis do get a break opportunity early in, this first, in the second half, but I think there's uh, some contact on the throw. 
I think Capello has tried to move over to stop the inside and has landed on the side of her foot and has tweaked her ankle. That's what it looked like happened. She called an injury immediately, so hopefully she's okay. She's been a really important player for this Capello in this in this game. Been playing very well. It's all too easy to tweak your ankle playing ultimate, and it's so unfortunate because it does kind of take you out of the game, if not the tournament, if you're particularly unlucky. Yeah, really hard to run when that ankle is even slightly painful, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you can try and play through it, but then you're just giving yourself problems in the long run. Yeah. Although this is likely the last tournament of the season for a lot of these players. We do have some beach action coming up later in the year. But this is the last grass tournament of the season. Fee Ray, lefty dish into the middle and gets the return pass. Nice big breakthrough to continue synthesis offense. I was, try, I was about to try and say the plural of that <laughs> and uh, backed out with the last S. Synthesis is? Yeah. Synthesizes? Yeah. There's, there's too many S's. <laughs> there are a lot of uh, S's. I know it's six gram and spice, but <laughs> anyway. Discobolo get the disc back and shoot deep immediately. And some defenders underneath it. And they just about put enough pressure to stop the catch. Great the pressure from Vicky Cockle. The block was cleaned. Look at that. Chases it down, gets a hand in there. Really, really good defense. So Tio with the disc. Pops it to this near side. And gets the return pass up the line in power position. Looks off the deep shot. Finds Bailey. Back to Tio. Another power position. This time she goes for it. And floats it nicely into the end zone. But despite getting two hands to the disc, can't bring it down. That's really unfortunate. It was a really good offensive point. Tio playing really well, getting the disc back every other turning down some speculative shots and waiting for a, a good solid one puts the disc out it looks like it just hung a little bit and it was over couple's head a little bit she had to reach back slightly and couldn't quite reel it in but it was uh, a nice point for synthesis and kind of shows that they are still growing into this game and that is an early timeout for disco bolo interesting call not sure that was quite necessary they called a timeout earlier in the game in the first half after multiple turnovers looking a bit flustered but here we are. They will be taking a break, and so are we. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Shout out to Force for providing us with the swag this weekend. Me and Sean both sporting the vibrant sun hoodies that you saw in that. Polarizing sun hoodies. We had a lot of comments about them. I would say 40% of people really like them, as do I. 40%. 40%. 6 percent of people uh, have wrong opinions. Yeah, just objectively wrong. Opinions. Yeah, it's totally correct. He's really nice. Yeah, Force are the official apparel partner of EUF. And we're very grateful for them for hooking us up with some swag this weekend. <laughs> the the disc is, flies away. is probably quite effective at <laughs> swatting some of the flies away, but there's so many. Just, just good luck. So 
surrounding the vert stack is since this. As Disco Verlo check the disc in, we're back underway. As we manage to get the disc off the sideline. And swing to the far side is reeled in. Somehow maintaining possession. Back into the middle. But that one is too far. Short field for synthesis. Immediately shoot deep. Tio's running it down and gets the score. Synthesis get their fourth point on the board. Really good throw from Livarski because it's tough sometimes when you're picking it up so quickly and you're moving it so quickly, you kind of put too much power on it. But she put a perfect amount of sit on that, just let it drift out in front of Tio so she could run down easily. It's an unfortunate turnover from Disco Below. You can see the, the receiver kind of takes a step to the left when the thrower is expecting it to go right. Phenomenal layout again over on that sideline from Negroni. That's two in this game now. But a good point for Synthesis after that timeout. Uh, not exactly what Disco Below would have been looking for, but a nice, uh, nice bracket from Synthesis. Yep, good defense from Synthesis. Gets the job done. Disco Bolo having another kind of mini break here. They've been taking quite a long time to to get ready between these two points. They've obviously had a timeout immediately out of half. I wonder what, what the discussion is, Luke. I mean, they're still comfortably ahead. Yeah, plenty, plenty of Four room. Four points up is yeah. it's not close. But perhaps they're, they're worried that it's starting to fall apart. Perhaps a good reason. Commentator's curse? Let's Commentator's go. prediction? Commentator's that was, prediction. That was that incredible. Was 200 IQ foresight, you know? Saw that coming. So synthesis with the break opportunity. Get a bit disconnected now, though. But nice grab from Yorworth. Saves possession. Just a clean run through block for Disco Bolo. Let's see if they can do any better on their second attempt at this point. Swinging the disc around the back. We pass into power position. Goes for the cross field blade. There's two receivers there, but the disc sails out of bounds before either can collect it. Obviously that's a turnover and it looks bad because it's gone miles out the side of the pitch, but I don't hate that option because there's two receivers that had space going into that back corner. There's no, there's basically no way a defender's going to get there ahead of those receivers. So it's an aggressive option, but I think it's an option that you can, you can certainly defend. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind, don't mind the option, but um, it just had to be just perhaps a bit lower. So trap zone from Disco Bolo. Yorworth tries to go over the top with the scuba. Federica again. She's been so involved in this game. Catching points. The force in the zone. Getting blocks now. And a hammer over the top of the stack. Nice, oh. Nicely reeled in. You love to see it. Just big hammer to the break side. Brings it down. That's confident play from Disco Bolo. It is. It's exactly how they've been playing. We saw it earlier in the point where they try and throw a bladey flick over onto the far side of the field. They clearly are backing their receivers, backing their teammates, and just throwing what looks speculative. But if you drill it, if you work on it, it's not that speculative. It just becomes an aggressive option that's incredibly difficult to defend. And they have had quite a few of them in building this five-point lead. They look like a, a good team. They've clearly had a difficult group playing against Box and Valkyria, two other good teams. So, um, unlucky there. Yeah, got a bit unlucky with that. They've had some tough results, but they have been excellent in this game. And it's been, uh, been very impressive. So Synthesis trying to get ready to get back into the game. 9-4, and I think while the scoreline, I don't, I don't think the scoreline flatters Disco Bolo in the sense that they have been very good and they've certainly earned all of the points they have. I think since it's been a bit unlucky, I think they're better than a five-point gap here. They're, they're playing well. They're, oh, for sure. They've got some chemistry between some of their players. Obviously, some of them have never played together before, so they're still working on it. But I mean, how many points have we seen where 
synthesis work it really nicely down the field and then turn over on the shot to the end zone. Yeah, absolutely. Like a drop or a throwaway or something unfortunate, a miscommunication. But they've, they're all clearly good players. I think the level of talent between the two teams, as you said earlier, Luke, is, is pretty close. But Disco Bolo are using their, their, uh, their drilled nature very well to take advantage. So Chios tries to swing the disc to this near sideline. Goes over Hill's head, though. So, once again, Synthesis doing most of the work. Getting maybe 80% of the way down the pitch, but not able to get the disc into the end zone. That's exactly what we're talking about, isn't it? They worked it really nicely, and then just one throw goes slightly awry, and, and they need to kind of get it back and build again. So, Disco Berlo. Get off the sideline. It's working around the back. This is good downfield defense from Synthesis. Stopping the immediate options. Forcing them to reset. Reset once again. Finally find a shot downfield, but bounces off the chest of the receiver. There will be a discussion. It's more patient than we've seen Disco Bolo in some time. They were working it, taking those unders. We've seen them a lot, just go over the top and look for those really aggressive options. But on this occasion, they were working it quite nicely until that drop there. Looks like there's been some discussion. Uh, there's been some waving of hands, but I'm not quite sure what they mean in this. I, in this I think instance. there was a foul call. So it's definitely a foul call. So the waving above the head and it's uncontested. Okay, fine. Okay. So, so there was contact on the catch that caused the drop. So good patience from Disco Bolo. We haven't really seen that much of it in the last few points. So good to see they can do kind of both things. Yeah, they did well. Just swing the disc around the back. And foul uncontested is the resolution. They finally go and pick the disc up. Underway. Almost an errant pass in the backfield, but Disco Bolo maintain possession. Find an option out of the stack, and then they go deep. But it's way too far. That was a really good break, inside break, and a great catch. And aesthetically, that backhand looked fantastic. She put a lot of sauce on it, and it went a long way. Coming out of the hand, looked beautiful. Uh, you can see here the swarm of flies that we are dealing with at the moment. There's an awful lot of them. Um, but yeah, that throw was far, far too far. Uh, that as a pull, that would have been great. Or if she was on her own, uh, like a brick mark or something. But halfway down the field, that's, uh, that's tough. But now we can see the, the cam. You can see the flies in front of it. It's uh, getting to a, a, bi a biblical, and I mean that in literal sense. This is like a plague of Egypt at the moment with the flies. It's unbelievable. So, synthesis with a full field to work through. Disco Bolo zone once again. Fee Ray finds a gap through the cup, gets the disc into the middle. They're not able to go through the zone just yet. That disc a bit behind the receiver. Yeah, another instance where they've done some nice work and just struggling to put all the pieces together at the moment synthesis yeah the zone did well to contain synthesis keep them in the backfield but does get the block now short field for disco Bolo to work with pick has been called so we're back in the middle of the field yeah back in the middle of the field Flies in the camera again. But the swing pass is incomplete. The sails past the receiver. And synthesis. Get this back. 
quite a few turns on this point. It's been a reasonably clean game so far. Not had too many points where there's been loads and loads of turns. And as I say that, the rock with a, a blade to TL doesn't quite come off. No, I like the idea. We're trying to go over the zone, but the execution was not there. And let's see if Disco Bolo can convert. An awful lot going on downfield, but they do find a swing. Big arcing throw to the end zone. It's just brought straight down by Synthesis. That throw from Ray goes too far. And Disco Bolo once again with less than half the field to work with. Immediate IO shot to the end zone. It's brought down. And a little bit of contact on the catch, but nothing problematic. Nothing outrageous or uh, I don't think that was a, a bad video. No, no, not at all. Really, really good throw, though. Finding that inside channel. They've done that very well, actually, this Gobolo. I, mean, I keep saying they do things very well. They do a lot of things very well. But this throw for ABC is just a little bit too high. And they go pretty quick off the turnover. And once they get that disc moving, they find those inside shots really, really well. And they are just taking advantage of, uh, of mistakes uh, very, very clinically again in this second half. They kind of maybe lost a little bit of momentum. Had to call some timeouts, slow things down a bit. But looks like they've got, got themselves back together. We can see this disc is getting tapped in. And the plague in front there. And that is just a beautiful shot from Bolognese. Really, really good throw. For the score, 10-4 to the Italians, the Disco Bolo from Bologna. Another team from Bologna. They are not affiliated with CUSB. There's uh, three CUSB teams here. We've got La Fotta in the open division. We have uh, Shout and we have Cheetahs in the women's division, both of them. Cheetahs, which I think are a younger Coos team, coached by one of the, the Shout players, Guy Pancotti. And they're, uh, they've been having very loud, very musical, looking very fun warm-ups. Looks like they're here to enjoy things and just learn, which is uh, great to see. But Disco Bolo not affiliated, but another very good team from Bologna. Yeah, Bologna's got a fantastic ultimate team. Um, check out Ulti TV's mini documentary on the Bologna Ultimate community on our YouTube channel. Right. Once again, Synthesis, they get most of the way down the field, but can't go the full distance. And Disco Bolo get this back. Lots of hard undercuts coming from this stack. Disco Bolo managing to find the options. Big high throw. Goes over to the break side and is comfortably collected. And another high shot to the end zone, but this one cannot be brought down. It might be the first thing that Federica has not caught in the entire game. It's another situation where DeLuca was the one who caught her, hooked down here, I think, earlier in the game, and showed great composure. You pointed out she didn't take a timeout, which uh, is what most people in the situation she was in would do, but she had great composure, found a teammate. Another situation where she's found it and just taking the time, trying to find a nice option. It was a pretty good option to go to Federica, who has basically had glue on her hands for this whole game, but she can't quite reel that one in. It's a little bit too, little bit too high. So, you're with going deep, looking for Bailey, who can't quite bring it in. Got, got her hands there, but... Disco Bailey in possession once again. Find the swing to the near side, and the deep shot. There's pressure underneath it. And looks like... Caught that at a pretty similar time. Yeah, it looks simultaneous to me. We'll get a replay here. I, mean, I think that's as close as you're going to get to I think it's probably within a frame of being the same time. So the players coming over to have a look at the replay. We're trying to 
tell the players that we have a pretty good replay of this. But maybe the players have already come to a conclusion. Who knows? So here it is again. I don't really think you can call that either way, can you? That looks so looks close. Looks within a couple frames of being simultaneous. Yeah. Like, close enough. Like in in slow-mo, if it looks within a few frames in slow-mo, then... Uh, that's, bait. that's essentially simultaneous. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. It's a good play from you always trying to get in there and get the turn. She has the disc in her hand, so I wonder... I, obviously, we're not close to discussion. I can't see what they're talking about, but... And it looks as though they've looked at the replay and they've decided it was simultaneous and now going with the offense takes it. Yeah, simultaneous catch is the resolution. On the other pitch, we do have a big replay monitor that the players can look at, but this one they have to crowd around the production PC. This one we have the Plague of Locusts for everyone to enjoy. Disco Bolo, go backwards after the restart. Shoot to the end zone. Floating, but well read by the receiver. I would love to see how many Federica has caught in this game. We're not, uh, not taking stats on this one, but she has been in the end zone all the time. She has been catching everything that's thrown in her postcode, other than the, uh, the rolly one that was a really difficult catch with the left hand. Had an absolutely excellent game for this uh, Disco Bolo team. It was an unfortunate uh, I suppose situation, unfortunate play for Hanny Orwith there. She made a good play to try and get a hand on that disc to take it away. But we can see another one where she just points at the end zone. She sees that she has some space at the back. She just goes over Kate Gibson's head and that is... Uh, Heather Gibson's head, sorry. And that's a, a really good catch for another score for Disco Bolo, 11-4. And I, it bears repeating, I suppose, that Synthesis, I think, can feel a little hard done by the score. I think they played they played well. 11-4 uh, is not reflecting the, how hard both of these teams have been working. Disco Bolo have been very good, but I think they've been pushed to be very good by Synthesis. It's uh, been a good game, a very fun game to watch as well. It's great plays. We've seen two layouts from Negroni that were outrageous. We've seen another, another from Payne that was absolutely monstrous. So, nearing the end of the game, but hopefully we have not seen the last of the incredible plays as Disco Bolo pull, and Synthesis is going to start off the offense with Hill in the middle of the field. Tries to find Toe, but good run through block. Yeah, just receiver slowed into the catch, didn't she? She was slowing down to try and concentrate on the catch, and the defender just came through, knocked it yeah. away. She looked open up until the throw went up. Luca closing that space really well. So, just go Bolo. Looking to draw this game ever closer to a resolution. And that shot to the end zone. Looks a bit high, but it is brought down. Disco Bolo are one point closer. Bolognese's inside throws in this game have been largely unstoppable. She opens up that inside space, steps slightly forwards, and just throws it on that break side and is hitting people in the chest. Like they're not even having to really extend for it comes back to her here and we see her step slightly forward and just rip that inside and it's just straight to her receiver and as soon as they get onto that break side I think you commented on it earlier Luke they get on that break side and they just take advantage so well it's a really good catch in the end yeah, nicely done from Disco Bolo and I think the Synthesis have called a timeout so we'll take a quick break don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. I'll keep up to you.
So Disco Bolo with a dominant lead deep into the second half of this women's crossover, looking set to put themselves into the top 16. Yep, I think Disco Bolo are a team that could cause one of the highest seeded teams because they're going to go in as a, a best third place team, so they're going to play a, a winner of a pool. But I think they can go into those games and give a winner of a pool a pretty uncomfortable game. I think they are certainly good enough to push any team here, I mean, they push Valkyria to Universe Point, and Valkyria look to me to be one of the best teams here. So uh, they're a strong team, very cohesive, play very well together. I think they could cause some problems later on today. Yeah, especially when you consider that typically when you play against a better team, you tend to play better as a team yourself. So look forward to seeing what they can do later in this tournament. That is, of course, assuming that they can put this game to bed. But confident score from Synthesis. Worked it very nicely through that time. Yeah, really good zono. Kept the disc moving, let the disc do the work. Some nice give and goes from everybody in the middle there. A really good throw over the top, I think, from Bailey, I believe it was. Uh, you might see that on the replay. It was a really good throw over the top that opened up the field to Jalink. And then from there, you can see wide open side of the field on this near side, close towards the camera. And they just keep the disc moving, keep the advantage. Uh, preserve the advantage and until they have a someone open on the front corner. Nice score for Levaski. There we go, there's a throw at the top. Just opens up the field and at that point, numbers advantage. If you keep the disc moving and you press that advantage, it's really tough to stop as a defense. Yeah, that's something they weren't able to do quite so well earlier in this game. We saw them get that first shot over the top, but not convert it into a score on numerous occasions. So a decent pull from yours. And Disco Verlo. Forced to go sideways first, but nice inside break. Gets their offense moving. Shot over the top. I don't think the receiver really knew that that disc was up. No, another aggressive option. I think you're right. Wasn't quite expecting it, but there, another instance or another point where the break side advantage or the break side. Uh, exploitation from Disco Bolo was really excellent. So since this, in possession. Our position, deep shot. This one's hanging though. And looks to be wide, not quite over the fence, but close. Yeah, it's a shame. PBT had some, had some yards there. Sam Fisk's trying to get it there, but Sits up a little bit in the in the wind, just a little bit too much edge underneath the disc, I think. But I suppose when you're down, you know, 12-5, you can afford to be aggressive. You can afford to take those options. She definitely had space, Tio, so it was uh, an option that was there. So they're not gaining up many yards off that turnover. Went out fairly early. Bello, big arching swing. They do come down with it though. And they also come down with the second high throw. And they punch it in. So confident offense from Disco Bolo after that turnover. Yeah, that woman again, Federica. I don't know if that throw is for her. I thought that throw was for Negroni. It looked like it was anyway. Yeah. And then just hoovering up it up as she has with pretty much everything else the rest of the game. Federica. And then just as the force comes around to try and block that throw, at least Negroni wide open on the front corner for the easy score. So I think at this point it would mean, or it looks to mean, that Synthesis have 
Uh, probably a very small chance of making the top 16 as one of the yeah. the four best third place teams. I don't believe this count this game counts towards that, but uh, given how the rest of the scores are looking, I think uh, it looks unlikely that they'll be progressing through to the next round. But Disco Bolo will be, and Synthesis will be still be playing the rest of their games, and I think they've got. I would be surprised if they don't uh, come away with a win in this in this tournament, the way they're playing. Looks like they're playing pretty well to me, and there's some teams I think that they're going to be able yeah. to take on lower down the draw. Yeah, the, the women's division's been a bit strange in Europe this year, with a lot of European teams making the trip over to Cincinnati for Worlds, including all three of six Gram and Spice that make up this synthesis squad. It's, to be honest, impressive that any of them have managed to make it here after the, the pretty grueling season that all three of those rosters went through. Absolutely. Playing multiple European tournaments and a North American tournament. So, quick turnover from Synthesis. Disco Bolo get the block. They're looking to convert. Arching backhand to the far oh. side. Nicely done. Really confident throw. That is an absolutely beautiful throw. I thought she was going to throw the down the straight down the field. Looked like she had someone cutting into that open side cone, but faked it, moved the force around, and just rips a, a break side backhand out to Deluca that is really very good. You can see the big players for Disco Bolo have the ability to completely change the game and, and generate points. Comes to Bolognese here, some good faking here. Comes to Bolognese, fakes that throw, force comes up gives herself the space and puts it into a space where you can see there's no white shirts there. Even if Deluca doesn't catch that, very little chance it's going to be blocked. She's giving her a receiver an opportunity to make a play on it and it's outstanding offense. So just go for the one. Of the victory. Some interesting things going on around the fields at the moment. We've got uh, Troubles playing the young French team. That's 12-10 to Troubles, so it's a close game. Freeze Go, who uh, didn't have a great start in the tournament, but features a lot of the French teams. Very talented team, could be a uh, name to watch in the coming years. But the other youngest team here, East Block from the Czech Republic, are only one down against Yaka. We saw them on the stream yesterday against Bristol, and they pushed Bristol. They were a good team, clearly did. But 9-8 to Yaka against East Block. It's a surprising result at this stage. Yeah, Yaka, one of the favourites to win. For sure. Right. Synthesis looking to put more points on the board before this one's over. Stuck on the sideline, but the disc just bounces out of the hand to receive. The Fire can't sweep it up afterwards. And Disco Bolo get their first opportunity to put this game away. And for once, a layout attempt does not come down with. Two unsuccessful layout attempts, but two good layout attempts. That one from Fee Ray there was heroic after it bounces off, bounces off the rock's hand. And a good attempt at an aggressive throw there. So Ray with the disc synthesis. Finds you worth. Tio. Bailey. Synthesis working it really nicely down the field. Arching back into the far side. Pulled that one straight from the Disco Bolo playbook. It really was a, almost a copy of the last point, wasn't it? Fifth then fakes the flick, finds the space to throw a bladey backhand, and the Rock is able to run it down with no defenders anywhere in the vicinity. Offense from Synthesis after they got the disc back there. Look at this. Oh, it was so close. Like she had it and then just kind of lost it as she came off the ground. Pretty spectacular grab. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit past her, isn't it, when she starts laying out. Bailey finding Fisk here. Steps out and gives herself room and puts on a great shape. Let it sit for the rocks around to it. Nice and easy. And a nice celebration from the rock. So game point on offense. Disco Bolo's offense has been really good so far. All the big players back out there. We see Bolognese's out there. You can see Negroni's out there. The 
point machine that is Federico is out there as well. I don't know if we've seen Capello come back on after she tweaked her ankle on the force earlier. She's walking around on the line. Looks like she's in some discomfort, but I suppose they don't need to push her back on here, do they? Uh, not at this point. So, good defense from Synthesis to start this point. Shutting down these downfield options, but... We do eventually find one. What a grab to recover that. And immediately goes for the roll curve backhand to the far side, but a point block. So... Synthesis wins possession. Finds Watkins in the middle of the field. Toe with the disc. For a reset. Tries to find one up the line, but it's a tricky throw. Yeah, it's about as hard a throw you can get, really, isn't it? The the leading for uh, leading pass inside in a chase. Very, very difficult. That's why you see in uh, Fee Ray's been throwing a lot of lefties in those same kind of areas. It's yeah, I much prefer the sort of easier. high release lefty, yeah. like the floaty lefty backhand yeah. range. Forehands, short forehands are so difficult to put any touch on. And sit them up for the receiver, but. Disco Verlo looking to put the game away once again. Calling for players to come back under. Has to go for the reset. It's low, but scooped up. Another low forehand. This one too low. Let's go by not to convert. No, but on the next team, those all game, but as you say, Lou, that was a little too low. Really, really tough catch for the receiver there. But jitters, maybe, from the Italians? They've got a lot of time to work with, but Synthesis are looking to make a game of it. That one was claimed by the defense without too much issue. Ooh, almost the point block from Hill, but this go by low. Same possession and call a timeout. Most their second of the half. I don't think we've. Was it their second of the half? I thought that was maybe, maybe already taken two, but it looks like everyone's happy with one in the first half. It. That must be it, must be it. But. Yeah. It looks like there is I some think they took one in the first half, and then there was the one they took on the, uh, the right end zone, front corner. Oh, it looks like we are taking a timeout. Everyone is, uh, everyone is now gathering. Looks like we're all good. Yeah, scorekeepers haven't come running over to. So, timeout will be taken. So, as the players do that, we will take a quick break and be right back. So, Disc is checked back in. First stack from Disco Bolo. Match defense from Synthesis. Forcing Disco Bolo to work it round the back. Multiple players streaking deep. 
Let's get Velo Holster and Synthesis read the play. Get the block. You can see Tessa Janik was nowhere near her mark, waiting for something to come into the middle of the field so she could get, make a play on it. Really well read. So Gibson to Hill. Back into the middle. And that play also read like a book. And that is the player that Jalink was marking as well, so some poetic, uh, poetic justice about that one. Uh, both teams having a read on each other. Good backhand fake. And then that undercut needed a flat forehand, but it curved into the ground. And another opportunity for Synthesis to try and claw their way back into this game. Nice lead pass. Finds the receiver in space, and a little bit of give and go to convert the score. Looked like the defense almost had a bite on that. But Synthesis get their seventh point of the game. That was a really good throw from Gibson there, right into Jalink's path. Didn't even have to adjust, could even milk it a bit, take two or three steps with her hands, ready to catch it. Uh, good support from her teammates as well. You can see as it comes in, there's four or five of her teammates around and no Disco Bolo players. Great hand there from Jalink. And the other thing I think is notable on the turn uh, that, uh, that Synthesis got turned off was they went immediately. It turned over and they stopped the roll, picked it up and went immediately. Disco Bolo still heads down, kind of walking around, and they push the pace straight away. And as I said, you can see so many white shirts flooding deep here. She's got so many options. Maybe closer than need to be in, but it's, uh, it's a really good point, and that just comes from the aggressiveness that Sensei showed by starting as quickly as possible. Yeah, big fan of fast break offense. Don't mess about when your team's got the disc. You have the advantage. Press it. So Disco Bolo once again, looking to put this game away. Ooh, that throws straight to the defender. Synthesis. They can only claw their way back into it one point at a time. That's exactly what they're doing. That tight forehand does not find the receiver. Just going to get the disc back. High forehand. Finds the receiver. Just a few minutes to go. Just going to reset. Shops to the end zone. Is caught in the back corner, and Disco Bolo will take the game 15-7. And you can see how worried Disco Bolo were there. That is Capello, who we said went off, hadn't played since calling an injury after tweaking her ankle on the force. So clearly they're thinking they need to get this game over and done with, and they put her on for the final point. It was a really good turn by Synthesis. Mariana Larup completely read that throw, but it was another one of the throws we talked about earlier, Luke, wasn't it? It was the IO flick that's really tough to read. And that is a very typical Disco Bolo goal. A lot of edge on that. Straight to a receiver in space. Very aggressive option, but one that is, when you've drilled it enough, a perfectly valid one. And a really good performance by Disco Bolo. Offensively, they are very impressive. They really hold the disc very well. They don't make many mistakes. I don't remember more than two or three drops. I think they're, the hands across the team, very, very good. Uh, and Synthesis, I think they deserve to get back into that game a bit more. 15-7. Still not reflective, I think, of the pressure they put on there. But... Fair play to them for pushing it at the end there and, and clawing back a couple of points. They deserved to be uh, to be closer than I think it was 13, 13 five or 34, something like that. And they uh, they definitely played better than that. So a good game from both teams. But Disco Bolo, I'm sure we'll see more from them later in the tournament. Uh, and I look yeah. forward to seeing them because they're a good team. Yeah, look forward to seeing what they can do later on. Up next, we've got a uh, two pitches of mixed action. Reading Ultimate versus Hook and Disconnection versus Catch-Up. They'll be starting very shortly, so make sure you're subscribed to Alter TV, and we will be back in a few minutes for the next round. See you soon.